Happy Sunday, YouTube. It's Maggie Bot here with vlog number two. And I just, just got back from a board game swap out in the middle of nowhere near Seattle. Um, this is, I think, their third annual. And it's hosted by this awesome guy who puts up his house and provides snacks and drinks and stuff and just invites people to truck in all of their tradable games. And so there were probably, I want to say 20 people there, maybe maybe more or less as the day went on because it was kind of flux. Uh, so this was definitely my introduction to a whole different side of gaming. These were collectors and speculators and they were kind of, they had gamified buying games. So people had sheds full of things that they were speculating on and they're watching for the best deals they can on eBay and all this stuff. And it's... It's interesting to me because those types of things are so foreign to what I like to do. I like to buy games that I'm going to play and things I can, you know, bring to a table and get people to interact with. And these were definitely games that never will see the light of day. So most of the games I was seeing there were just probably being passed around to the same few traders over and over and over again over the years. And um, I brought really good games. I brought like new, recent, very barely played things that just didn't hit well with my group. So these are like Eclipse and Merchants and Marauders and I traded away uh, Homesteader 2nd Edition which is the saddest one I did today. And I really just, I put like $20, $30 price tag on most of it thinking, yeah, whatever, I don't really care. And everyone looked at me like I was crazy and I was actually accidentally kind of undercutting other people who had the same games. But I just, I wanted them out of my house. I kind of wanted the dollars of the trades. Um, people did not bring the same styles of games that I normally play to trade away to me. So I definitely, and I knew this doing it, but I lost dollar value in my trades. Like I would trade them something and then I got back stuff that I could probably find on my own for 5 to $10 online. But I figured... Might as well try them out, and if not, I rip them apart and give the pieces to my friends who prototype. But uh, just kind of fun, wacky little things like Phoenix and a really old little like card-driven fantasy game, Down with the King, and this little, little bookcase game, and it just fun stuff because I can. Um, the one I was kind of looking for and excited about was Portobello Market, and I can see right here the price tag that he probably paid never opened it and um, probably found it on sale too but the, it's all good I don't I don't care I just want to try them uh, the big one uh, the El Grande that I was very quickly corrected thank you yesterday um, El Grande but it's the one of the first editions and without the expansions it's all dinged up and it's kind of much more my preferred method than getting the newest shiniest version I kind of like stuff that's been loved um, so, if it's as good as I think it is for as long as it is, I'll probably end up picking up the expansions, maybe even having to sell this away and buying the 10-year the, the anniversary one that has all of them. Uh, we'll see. Uh, the last one I, I traded into kind of their, their own personal joke there. Oh, so, this... Every single person had this on their stall, and I figure, you know what, I gotta try it. Because, obviously, a name like D De Vulgari Eloquentia is not going to sell a lot of games, but this has really good ratings online. Who knows? It could be awesome. They don't know. It could be amazing. Uh, <laughs> so, that was really... That, that was great and a really cool, interactive, friendly group. Uh, we rocking in there with my blue hair and Ryan's in his kilt, and no one really looked sideways at us, so that was great. Uh, we ended up showing off Rococo, which is cool. Um, I'm still kind of on my rampage to get Rococo better, bigger out there, and I can't seem to finish my walkthrough for it, so at least I can show it to people. Um, yeah, the game was great. I tried a, a little bit of a strategy where you kind of sell off a bunch of people early on and use all the extra cash to help you out, but I sold off a couple extra too many people and took too long to start making dresses and lost all the points, all of them. So next time, um, it's really it. I'm just about exhausted, so time to go 
order some pizzas, and go sleep. But I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.